here we are aboard <coughs> Orla, Mike's Seawind 1160, with a very brief, quick demonstration of a 12 volt Rain Man installation underneath the floor in the head. We've mounted the, the membrane, it's nice and tidy and out of the way. And the cupboard under the sink, we've installed <coughs> a second carbon filter to take the chlorine out of the water that may be in the tanks for back flushing. There's a three-way valve here to do that. There's a three-way valve here to divert from the sea, sea water and the tank water for back flushing. And there's also a pickling valve here, which we take out and simply put into the sink. Once it's full of desalinated water, we add our metabisulfate and do our pickling. So <coughs> the pressure supply unit is in the engine room, the perfect spot up on the ledge next to the hot water system, but far enough away not to be a problem. So a 12 volt unit, we simply switch it on. And the first thing we do is we go outside, <coughs> check the brine line, make sure there's clear water coming out over the side of the boat. slowly increase the pressure to 800 psi. Just shut this door here. That's the taste step valve, so the water will come out of there. So basically we slowly increase the pressure. At about 600 psi, you'll see fresh water come out of that tap, so we'll slowly increase it. 600 psi. Now that should always be run for a minute or two to make sure that there's no salt system, salt water in the line. But you can do so by taste. That's fresh. And then once you're happy with that, simply go back down, turn the test tap to the tank, and now it's putting fresh water into your food, water tanks. That's simple. Okay, thank you very much. This is Brett Swan, the Watermaker Man. Thank you.